So let's take a look at the Yonex Xbox 63 today. So this is Yonex's latest string for 2021 and I'll go through some of the specs, my experience of stringing it and what I've found with my testing. So first off, I have two packs here and the string comes in yellow and white in color. You can obviously spot that Yonex has rebranded its repulsion series as Quick Repulsion. So on the packaging side of things, Yonex has updated its individual sets of string and it features an environmentally friendly logo on the back saying it's used some bio-based materials. All good for the planet, so that's a good direction. So it is also given an 11 out of 10 rating on the quick repulsion stats. Hitting sound and control parameters are also listed as 10 out of 10 as well. So the new material that is marketed by Yonex for the x 63 is the forged fiber on the outer casing of the string. So it claims to produce amazing sound alongside amazing drives at the same time. So for testing, I strung it on my usual racket, the Arc Sabre 10 at 27 pounds tension on the main and 29 pounds tension on the cross to make what I designate as 28 pounds tension. So upon opening the string pack, the initial feelings of the string are quite matte and dry. So it reminded me a little bit about the Yonex Aerosonic, which was Yonex's thinnest string at 0.61 millimeters so you can run your fingers through the string and it feels slight texture off the string which is pretty smooth and doesn't grip or bite at you like the arrow bite does it also doesn't feel sticky like the arrow bite as well so during stringing the string is pretty nice to string with and it doesn't kink or knot on itself too much when being pulled so very good all around so here's what it sounds like after stringing So to make sure I get a pretty consistent test, my other rackets were strung with 66 Ultimax at the same tensions alongside the Astrox 88 S and D Pro Models 2. So that video is coming up next, so make sure you subscribe to find out when it's published. So I've spent about 4-6 to six hours testing the Yonex x 63 and I find the string is slightly medium hard in terms of feeling as well as also slightly metallic. Feeling wise, I think the x 63 is definitely in between the 66 Ultimax and the Nanogy 98 for me. It reminded me of the Nanogy 98 which was my favourite string for many many years. So when I came back and had a look at the string matrix, I was surprised to find Yonex classifying the 66 Ultimax with the Nanogy 98 in identical terms in terms of feeling. So I disagreed with Yonex's classification because I certainly would put the Nanogy 98 slightly higher up above the x 63, perhaps in line with Aerobyte or x 63 being harder than the 66 Ultimax, which is correct in this case. So performance wise, the x 63 is certainly very repulsive. <laughs> So I meant that in a good way in this case. So anything that is caught with good timing in the sweet spot will just scream off the racket with a lot of pace. So you can actually also hear the strings have a pretty clean but slightly stiffer sound compared to the 66 Ultimax. So I found the x 63 to be not as forgiving as the 66 Ultimax. Anything that is off the sweet spot will feel quite stiff and doesn't come off quite as well off the racket. So perhaps this might be a compromise that Yonex has made in terms of durability. Catching it on the sweet spot, you're absolutely golden. Off the sweet spot, so you're sacrificing a bit more feeling than usual, but your string doesn't break. So it does sound like a pretty good compromise to me, um, as I've yet to break the string even after a fair few mishits. So durability is often a conflicting property when compared against the feeling of a string. So higher performance and better feeling strings tends to be thinner and lack durability. But it looks like Yonex has got the compromise well in this regard for the x 63. So how much is the x 63 in your country and let me know in the comment section down below. It remains to be seen what effects Yonex or their retailers have in pricing for this string in the market. As I believe it will compete really well with Yonex's own 66 trifecta, the 66 Ultimax, 66 Force and 66 Brilliant which is available in selected countries. In the UK it looks like it's going to be expensive at over around £7 for a pack and certainly over £100 for a reel. Have you tried it yet? Let me know in the comment section down below and I will see you in the next one. Oh.